Sit back and listen. It's time for License to Practice by IELTS Medical. Hello and welcome back to another episode of season four of License to Practice from IELTS Medical. We have once again a wonderful guest here today telling us some great advice and their story of becoming registered here in the UK. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode and let's give them a call. Today we've got a little bit of a different episode for you. Uh, we've not got our usual guests on, but obviously with the cost of living rising, as we know, every penny counts at the moment. So I'm going to be talking to Simon from HMRC, who's going to be giving us a bit of information and answering some questions on how people in your profession, uh, employ people in your profession, can claim tax refunds on work-related expenses. So hi, Simon. Thank you so much for coming on our podcast. Hi, Christina. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. How are you today? You all right? I'm very well, thank you. I'm not sure when people are listening to this podcast what the weather's like, but today it's it's warm, it's sunny, and uh, it I think I think there might be a paddling pool in the back garden for me a bit later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know it is. It's a lovely day. Uh, yeah, it makes a change. So thank you so much for coming on. I'm sure everyone's going to be really interested in what you've got to to tell us today. I certainly am. Uh, obviously, I've had a bit of a read of the information sent over and, and the press release and everything. And it does seem, you know, something that probably not everybody knows about. So I think it's an important thing to talk, especially, as I mentioned, with the cost of living rising at the moment. It's going to be a good, good thing for people to learn about. Yeah, absolutely. That's why that's why I wanted to come on the podcast and particularly speak to people in the industry that listen to you. Um, because I think these days, you know, you're on you're on your phone on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I've been doing it myself this morning, scrolling through news and stories. And yeah. uh, sometimes things pop up that look like uh, you can get financial help. Yeah. So um, I, I I see uh, ones pop up all the time where they say, you know, if you're wearing a uniform for work, if you if you buy things for work, uh, click with us and, you know, we can get you some money back. And it's, oh, I didn't know this. This will help me because sometimes it can it can feel uh, it can feel difficult to understand it. And you can click through these companies sometimes and some do help. Some are genuine. Some uh, can 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 be bad actors and, and, and not give you the full full money. And often in some cases can then trap you into an agreement with them where they're managing um, some of your some of your dealings with HMRC. So what I wanted to do was explain that, you know, you can get a tax refund on certain work expenses. And by far the best way to do that is to come direct to HMRC yeah. and through gov.uk online uh, and, and do it direct with us because then you're doing it yourself, speaking to us, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. We are a helpful bunch of people. And also uh, it means that you get all the money. So you're not you're not paying some to some of the people. And there's always the risk, of course, if you go through another company um, and they claim for you, they, they, they get things wrong. And then we say, hold on a minute, you, you actually owe us this money back. Uh, mm -hmm. Then then you can end up paying money back more money back and being out of pocket so coming yeah. direct to hmrc is basically uh, the, the best way to do it and that's what i wanted to make people aware of in your industry because a lot of people uh, are using their own money for things that they, that they buy for the job yeah of course yeah and it's something i guess people don't think about because they need it so they get it and then that's kind of that's the end it. Of the post, and, isn't it yeah and sometimes you know the employer's busy you know the the, the management team of of the company don't always uh, mention that they they might forget they, it might be on a an induction kit hidden yeah. somewhere further down the line and you know we've not all got time to read these things have we so mm -hmm. i wanted to make people aware that a lot of people are already claiming by the way for these for these refunds i, I yeah. looked at the numbers the other day from 2021 to 2022 more than 800,000 taxpayers claimed for the refunds for work expenses during that year but the the, the average claim a lot of people are missing out on these over 70 percent of claimants missed out on getting the full amount and that's because mm -hmm. they used an agent you know one of these people you yeah. might see on social media to, to make the claim instead of going direct to hmrc and i understand me, me and my partner amy we see these things on social media and she sends them to me and go can i can i go through this way yeah the best way is always to go direct to gov.uk and hmrc um and and uh, you can check you know you can get online and we can help you through it and by the way this isn't always i know 
I know a lot of people haven't got the time to to sit and ring. And I know you you bring a company. I was sorting my energy bills out yesterday, and you ring a you ring a number, and it can hoover up your whole one hour lunch break sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But we do this online at gov.uk, oh, so you okay. can get online. You know, if you're sat of an evening, you've had your tea, get on your phone, and you can look at it that way. And oh, I think right, that's, that's that's handy, isn't it? That's then a lot easier, isn't it? And I know for some people, being on the phone can be quite an intimidating experience. I know that sounds ridiculous. No, but I'm... sometimes ringing companies and going through all that, you think, oh, you know, I'm going to put that off. Doing it online for a lot of people, I think, is a lot easier these days. So yeah. that's one of the options. Yeah, well, I think that would that is probably a lot more appealing to a lot of yeah. people. So Absolutely. you said you said that in um, 2021, 2022, a lot of people have claimed. Um, what's the average claim? Would you say, for, or do you have a figure for that? The average claim for these refunds? That's refunds? yeah. So in that year, 21 to 22, the average claim claim was 125 pounds. Now, right. I don't know about you, but I could do with 125 pounds in my bank account yeah absolutely uh, at the moment it's it's that kind of money that you know if you think you're doing a big shop i know our big shop tends to be just over 100 pounds and we do one of the cheaper supermarkets in our house yeah. um but that's a big shop for us yeah uh, for one month so um that kind of money i would rather it be people people can get this money you know you're entitled to it mm-hmm. so get online gov.uk and and claim for these you know the things you're entitled for uh, claim it back if, if you only use these things for work if it's if it's an item you've bought you've paid your own money for it and you use it for work you can claim that refund on those work related expenses and like i say going online will help you figure out what you can and can't claim for as well and everyone will be different someone on the yeah. board different items for work some people will be buying pens some people are buying uniforms the website helps you and talks you through exactly what you can claim. So you, you've mentioned pens and uniforms. What is? Are there any other things that people might not have thought of that they can claim? What sort of work expenses are we talking about? So, so there's the online tool, which checks the eligibility because there'll be so many. I don't want to keep you all day, Christina. We could be around <laughs> for a whole day. A, a full list of work expenses you can claim are, are online on that tool at gov.uk. Um I'll, uniforms and work clothing I'll start with because yeah. a lot of people in your healthcare profession will probably be um, uh, using uniforms for work and work clothing. Work-related equipment, that then goes down into like another category. So you have to figure out what is just for work because we obviously don't want to be paying people for equipment they're using at home. That would that would, that would would just be wrong unless they're working from home. But if it's then used for personal reasons. Uh, professional fees, and this is really important for your audience, I think, professional fees, union memberships and subscriptions. So if you find that you're, if you find that you're, uh, you know, needing something for work that, that requires a, a subscription for perhaps uh, educational purposes or research purposes, I mean, I'm not, a medical professional myself, self by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but but sometimes subscriptions, professional fees, and even like repairing or replacing tools for a manual trade, for example, yeah. um, they could be claimed, the tax relief can be claimed on that money that's been spent on things like that. Again, yeah. what I'd say is check the online eligibility tool. And you might be surprised, you know, you might have been paying for something. For, I imagine some of your professionals have been in the career for years and years. Yeah, no and they, they they pay for these things for so long and didn't realize they can claim. Well, mm-hmm. check on that tool. The best thing to search for, by the way, because I know finding uh, pages can be sometimes tricky. Mm-hmm. So uh, all you have to do is search for employee tax relief on gov.uk in the top search bar. And that, that will bring it up. Employee tax relief on gov.uk and that'll bring it up for you. And, and that's and that's how they can check if they're eligible as well. Yeah. That's got the two on there as well yeah. and all the help that you need and guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Have you taken the IELTS multiple times without success? Are you two, one or even just half a band away from what the NMC or GMC require in order to give you your pin or license to practice? Then stop, take a breath and let us help. You see, here at IELTS Medical, we've given doctors and nurses the tools they need to pass the academic version of the IELTS exam as efficiently as possible. Whether you've reached above 7.0 in three subtests, but can't seem to crack IELTS writing, whether it's IELTS reading that's the thorn in your side, it's okay, we're here for you. Learn more at ieltsmedical.co.uk. Um, obviously, 
obviously we've talked a little bit about what to do how you can check you can claim what you know what sort of expenses you can expect to receive back um something that we haven't actually touched on is who who can claim um obviously this everyone listening to this i'm imagining it's going to be a nurse nurse or a doctor um, so <laughs> i'm imagining they are included in this list of people yeah absolutely they are yeah uh, and actually it's really interesting that people that that can claim um sometimes people think it's only certain professions that can can claim and it's it's not it's employed workers in any profession can claim a tax refund on qualifying work expenses if those expenses are then eligible um so it's not just certain industries so that's why there's the tool on gov.uk to go through what you can claim for so if you bought something and you use it in work, I would get online and check if you can claim for that tax relief. Because like I said, having it in your pocket is far better than, than not having it because yeah. it will help towards your big shop. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, and if, if, if you then, if you struggle even further and you find that uh, the tool's there, but you're not sure how to progress, there is all the information it talks you through step by step on our website but you know we're always a phone call away there's the hmrc app as well i, I don't know last time you started a, a new job christine have you been in this job a while yeah because <laughs> you're you, you're a seasoned professional uh, but there's actually there's actually the hmrc app yeah uh, which i've got on the phone i'm using and um, when you start a job they always ask for your uh, national insurance number yeah. and i i can never remember it oh no i've got mine written down in my notes on my phone <laughs> That's it. So on the HMRC app, you, you log in, you do the government gateway, which is to make it all secure and make sure we know it's you. If you get a government gateway, you can access a whole range of, of things from the government of HMRC, uh, from your ta child benefit and your tax-free childcare, et cetera. Um, but that makes it secure. The government gateway is your log on to the services that the government offer. With the app, once you're registered you're through Government Gateway, you download the app and it's got your national insurance number at the top. And also, really handy, I found out the other week, uh, it's got your tax code on there and all that stuff. So, you know, you think you see you see articles online or you see Martin Lewis saying, mm -hmm. check, your, check your tax code. You don't yeah. want to be paying yeah, so much yeah. tax. That's on the app and you can query it through the app and contact. So um, I'm going to get that. Basically, what I'm saying is no. I, I remember the days when you might have thought, I've got to pick up the phone to speak to my HMRC. You've got the app. You've got online these days. Mm -hmm. if, if you use them, and, and you'll find there's there's quite a lot on there that you could, that is helpful for people in the in in your profession. Yeah, it sounds like I didn't even really know about that, and that's yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna well, I'll, I'll just use an example. We had a new baby arrive into our household. We had a little boy called Oscar uh, three weeks ago. Two oh, weeks gosh. ago now. Congratulations! Uh, thank you very much. And one of the things you can claim if uh, if you're a parent, I think it's if you're under earning under fifty thousand pounds a year mm -hmm. uh, you can claim uh, child benefits yeah. so it's a little bit of help towards mm -hmm. um having 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 baby mm -hmm. so this child benefit you can click on the app and it takes you through to the web page and you can just claim like that and it, it's then activated you know there used right. to be a okay baby. then it's just you, done it's done you used to fill in the form you used to go to the post office you, yeah. you can now do it you can now you can now start doing it through the app the same with self-assessment i'm not sure if any of your um any of your listeners are uh, self-employed or file a self-assessment you don't always have to be self-employed you might just do a bit of work on the side yeah. outside the other work and um, uh, my my colleague claire went through the app and did the whole self-assessment through the app so wow. it takes you to a web, it opens up to a web page but she filed the whole thing boom, boom, wow. boom, 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 you know so good. it's just yeah. easier isn't it yeah well that's yeah that's good to know actually um i'm gonna look into that and i'm sure some other people will as well <laughs> yeah absolutely um, so obviously, I think to be honest, we pretty much covered most things about these about these tax and um, refunds. Just a couple of questions I've got, just in case anyone listening at home is wondering: Do you need receipts to claim the tax? Refund? Good question. So most claims can be made through a flat rate expense. So receipts and records are, are not required when claiming like a flat rate expense. And um, again, what I'd say for that is find out more if you if you search flat rate expense on gov.uk mm -hmm. that will go into more detail about that but they tend to be these flat rates uh, set at, at certain levels and mm -hmm. that flat rate expense on gov.uk will talk you through all of that I'm, I'm one of these people I always keep receipts anyway just in yeah, case, case. needed <laughs> further down the line or yeah. I once saw a lady I sat next to on the train um, and I was just being nosy she was sat next to me she had a laptop out this is years ago mm -hmm. and she clearly needed 
receipts for her business. And she was just sat there. She was taking pictures of it all with an old digital camera. That's how long ago it was. And she was putting it all in a Word document. And I thought, what a great idea. Yeah. She loses her receipts. There's obviously apps for it now. Uh, but I just use my camera roll that if I've done something that uh, might be needed for work later, just take a picture. Yeah, yeah, but flat rate expense, go to gov.uk, search flat rate expense, and that will talk you through um, what, what you need for your uh, for your claims. Okay, great. And obviously you've said it's everyone who's employed in a profession. Does that include part-time employees as well? Or is it just full-time? Yeah, it does include part-time. So UK taxpayers can claim relief on qualifying equipment expenses, again, the things that are definitely needed for your job when working part-time. So even if you're only doing, you know, a, a few hours a week, a couple of days, mm -hmm. that is still entitled. You can still get that money back in your pocket uh, by going to gov.uk and uh, getting that money back. And do you, these people need to submit a new um, claim every year or is one enough? So claims can be made for relief on qualifying equipment expenses for the last four years. So when I was talking earlier about whether you, you bought things a few years ago and didn't know back then that you could claim, you can backdate it that way. Uh, whether you need to do it each year, yes, you do, because things might change. So I suggest getting online, gov.uk. Um, actually, uh, I, I've, I've just remembered that tax codes will be adjusted to include the flat rate for employment expenses. That means that those expenses remain tax-free provided the expense is still being made each year. So if you're still buying the uniform each year, if you're still buying that equipment each yeah. year, a new okay. claim does not need to be made each tax year. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for clearing all that up. Um, it's a pleasure. I, think, I think we've covered everything, but just in case there's any further questions people have, can you just give us that website again, and um, the name of the website that, where they can get more information on it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So if you, you go to gov.uk, Mm -hmm. And uh, on there, you'll get the little search bar at the top. Uh, and that's your way to sort of search for anything that um, HMRC can help you with. And the best thing to search for is tax relief for your job expenses. And that will talk you through the guide of uh, uh, what you might be able to claim for, um, mm -hmm. when your claim is valid, like how far you can go back. I did mention it was it was four years. But again, everyone's different. Everyone's bought things at different times. So um I would, I would, I would, I'd get online. I'd go to gov.uk, employee tax relief, and use the online checker to see what you can claim for, what you need to do, and it talks you through step by step. And as I said, at any point, if you get stuck, you can contact our, uh, our, our line if you do on a phone, okay. or you can get help online as well at gov.uk. Right. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. Um, I hope everyone listening and watching at home found that useful. I certainly did. I've learned a few things and that I'm going to go and look at in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much, Simon. Um, that was really helpful. Uh, so, yeah, thank you and have a lovely day. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. Good luck uh, claiming back. If, you, if that's what you need to do, then I hope the system all works well for you. I hope I've made that clearer yeah. uh, and hopefully get some money uh, in people's pockets that's rightfully theirs rather yeah. than going via uh, people who take a cut. Hopefully 100% of that money can come back into your hard work in pockets. Yeah, great, thank you. Thank you so much to our wonderful guest for coming on, sharing their story and all that wonderful advice for everybody watching and listening at home. Thank you to everybody watching and listening at home. I really hope that you are finding this season of License to Practice useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode and I will be back next week with another guest.